So our mission remains very simple at this point. We're gonna land on the Halo ring world. Keys is gonna land, crash land the Pillar of Autumn elsewhere on the Halo ring world. And we're going to try to reconnect with the other Marines. And uh, with Commander Keys. Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you alright? Can you move? So I think we should do one more level. What do you guys think? Alright. So for those of you on YouTube, this should be video two. Chapter two in the Halo Combat Evolved campaign. All of our Marines have that left with us on the lifeboat from the Pillar of Autumn have died in the crash landing, and we are now on the Halo Morning. Ring. I've detected multiple Covenant dropships on approach. I recommend moving into those hills. If we're lucky, the Covenant Skybox will believe that everyone aboard this lifeboat died in the crash. Is much, much more detailed than it was in the first one. We're gonna have to get to cover, because there are some Covenant coming in here, and, uh, be better to not be seen by them right now. Thousands of types of flora. The ring's ecosystem is incredibly sophisticated. Just again for perspective, I'm going to do this really quick. I'm going to limit how much I do this, but this is the current Alert. graphics with the remake for the Man Master for Chief Collection. I recommend immediate this is what Halo originally looked like. It's still very impressive for the time, but. I, you can see the difference for yourself with the detail that it has now. But you can also see that it really is, it's just a retexture. It's using the same models that were in the original game. They've just put better effects and better texturing and better lighting over everything. So that's our first exposure to a Covenant dropship. Uh, in Halo 1, you can not take those on and shoot them down. They are to be avoided at all costs. But we're gradually getting introduced through gameplay rather than through cutscenes to the uh, magnitude and scope of the... Uh, enemy that we're up against here. So we're still just fighting grunts and elites, the same enemies that we had on the Pillar of Autumn, but now we're on Halo itself, and fighting them in an open, more open environment setting, outdoor environment, as opposed to the tight and confined hallways of the Pillar of Autumn. And we have been introduced here to a new weapon. The Needler. This weapon, more than any of the other ones in Halo, uh, in Halo I felt like was a really cool and unique weapon. Um, unlike anything that I'd s seen in previous games that I had played or in other sci-fi stuff. The Needles have a slight homing them and they stick to your and the to your enemy and will explode um, after a certain time and the explosion is much stronger based on how many you actually get to stick to whatever you're firing in Try to shoot down one of the banshees. There was a way to. I think you could actually board one of those. Uh, that, like there was a, a ex exploit in the original game where you could board one of those and fly it around. 
much earlier. Uh, then you're supposed to get them in the game. Uh, you know, and maybe maybe you won't. No spoilers, right? So, you know, maybe you won't get to fly one of those. Right now, they're, they're just attacking you from above. Waterfall looks really cool. So, again, in comparison, Waterfall, old version, new version. And grunts. <laughs> the little uh, dialogue bits that the grunts pop out uh, mid combat are some of the most entertaining parts of Halo. Whew. That was a firework display. Switching my grenade type to plasma grenades. Oh. He tried throwing a plasma grenade at me. Take his plasma pistol. So you get two types of grenades. You can only carry two weapons at a time. Fairly limited arsenal. Again, the, the point of this game is not to go collect new, more powerful weapons. It's... I'm reading a that lifeboat beacon you're supposed over the to get hill. better at combat as the game continues to throw increasing, uh, increasingly more challenging types of combat and variety of combat action. Trying to stay out of sight of that ship. We gotta get down there and rescue our dudes, too. So human weapons, which right now we've only seen the pistol and the assault rifle, are better against unshielded opponents, and covenant weapons are stronger against shielded opponents. Thank God, Master Chief. I thought we were in real trouble. It's a Let's try Needler all over this here for a bit. Don't worry, Sergeant. We'll stay here until evac arrives. Heads up! I got a Covenant dropship heading in! Over here! Now the, uh... Frag grenades do a good explosion radius, but again, they're better against unshielded opponents, so if you can drop one of those right in the middle of a group of enemies, that works really well, especially if they're, you know, unshielded. Um, so these guys right here, drop a frag grenade in there, that takes them out pretty good. It's a leap. That one to go down. Hookshark! Covenant dropship on approach! I could use some help over here! Now we do have another oh. type of grenade, which is the plasma grenades. Now those you can get a really good shot, you can actually stick it to your opponent. They have a little bit less of a blast radius, but the fact that they're sticky <laughs> makes them a one-shot kill if you can land a really good hit. Almost out of ammo for my uh, pistol. So I'm gonna stop using it for a little bit. Switch to Covenant weapons, which are more plentiful to pick up on the ground. And we'll go back to the plasma pistol here. The dropship coming in. Still got at least one uh -oh, marine out here. Two. In behind us. They're trying to flank us. Can't shoot the ship, but can try to shoot the uh, cubbies in the landing bay. Whoa. Maintain. 
maintain cover while that's getting out. Did a pretty good job of taking them out. The elite's always the big threat in a uh, group of enemies. Front's obviously less threatening. Not that they have any less firepower. That, um, although you'll only see the grunts wielding uh, pistols, plasma pistol, but you'll see the elites wielding plasma rifles and needlers, and then you'll see the jackals wielding plasma pistols, and I think that they can wield needlers sometimes as well. But they might only wield plasma pistols in this game, I forget. I was wrong. Grunts can use needlers. There's a jackal. I think we had seen one of them before, but I didn't call that out as a new enemy type. So we've seen three enemy types, and we've been exposed to five different weapons and both grenade types so far. charge bolt is a little bit slower, but it does have a slight homing effect. Anybody read me? Repeat. Any UNSC personnel respond. Roger, Echo Another, uh, this is five fun trope target. with five five. Halo is that whenever that forever. music kick, kicks up, Roger, fire team that's when you know you're getting into a, a bigger fight. Him, we can use a lift. We have survivors to transport to the command shuttle. I'm on my way. Look, more lifeboats. They're coming in fast. If those lifeboats make it down, the Covenant are going to be right on top of them. So we need you to additional lifeboat. The there Master they are. Chief and I are going to see if we can save some soldiers. Roger, Cortana. So there you okay, go. No cutscene. Stuff happening as Roger, you're in first Hammer. person. Stand by to evac survivors and and transport them to safety. that moves the story forward. That's so we saw all Echo three lifeboats. Now we're gonna go try to rescue him. Yeah, yeah the grunts do kind of remind me of uh, Ewoks more for your ride on that. It's a uh, good call. I like the playful nature this of cave Halo. This is not a natural um, formation. Someone built it, so it must be. Yeah, it, it's character design, the models, the dialogue, everything is uh, tactical data on designed to be, channels. you know, we fun and playful. Them who they're Games are us. supposed to be fun. This, this is a good note for I'm me. I'm going to use your suit's transcom system to monitor their chatter. Driving the Warthog was always a uh, challenge at first because the way that the controls used, you push forward and you just drive whichever direction you're facing. And then you use the right thumbstick to swing it around. Once you get the hang of it, it actually works quite well. And, uh, you know, I'm not as good at driving this as I am in iRacing, but... Hold a pretty decent line. The Marines react when you give them a nice jump.
think there was actually a plot point here um, that I missed, but if you try to keep driving along, you realize very quick, quickly that the bridge is out. And you have to stop and come up here, find this computer terminal. has stopped again. We're back to suspenseful Halo. We can look around a little bit and admire the scenery. As we continue to drive along here. There's new traffic on the Covenant Battle Network. A lot more crew made it off the Autumn than I had predicted. The Captain really gave them hell. If we can find Captain, All right, Keys Captain and the Keys. other survivors, we have a chance to coordinate an effective resistance. Well, coordinating an effective resistance would be good. I'm for that. These Covenant guys are... Uh... Not very nice. They're shooting at us, trying to kill all my guys, so let's go get them back. <laughs> so epic. Oh no. Wipeout. 4X. Right note. Whoa. We've got a couple jackals here. Oh boy. Oh no. Cover me. Almost lost the warthog. That would have been bad. Dude, get in. I don't want to hit you. I want to kill him. All right. All right. Here we go. Ah, oh, come on, Warthog. You can do it. There we go. All right. Over here. Now it's a little bit risky to try to take those jackals out like that. Silly driving on my part. I'm supposed to be the, the racer. Driving's what I do on like Twitch. That. Be better than that. There we go. All right. Let my gunner do the trick, do the job there. Yahoo! Maybe they took cover in that structure. Let's check it out. I feel like this was usually the last one Whoa. that I went to rather than the first. died right there. Just sit here and wait for our shields to recharge. Clayton, how you doing? Yeah, OG Halo on the uh, Xbox Series X Master Chief Collection. Ah. 
Bye bye. We have to search the interior of those structures before we leave. Conservation of uh, traditional human ammo is always a thing with Halo because you run into plenty of Covenant carrying Covenant weaponry, but your supplies and resources for the human weapons are much more limited. I've called for an evac. Roger that. Marines! Assemble for evac! Pronto! Alright. Let's see if we can get as many of these guys out alive as we can. You got the MCC on PC? Yeah, it, it's great. Um, on Series X, the, the frame rate... The upgrades that they did for the Series X are just so nice. Um... That I'm playing it on a OLED TV that runs it that is capable of doing the 120 frames per second refresh rate. And it's just so smooth. I hope it's coming through. I hope it's just good on the uh, stream. I know that I'm not able to output in 4K 120. I'm not putting it 1080 60, I believe. But I know it's All right. We read you, Echo 419. We have survivors and need immediate dust off. Roger, Cortana. On my way. I've spotted additional lifeboats in your area. One near a rock slide. And another near the head of the river. Hard to see from my altitude, but it looks like there are more survivors. Acknowledged. We're on our way. So we got Foe Hammer coming in to pick up the guys we rescued. We did manage to rescue a few. Fortunately for those guys, we uh, weren't quick enough to rescue everyone that was on the lifeboat. Let's roll! But now we've got not only a gunner, but we've got a passenger as well. See their, how they're doing. We've got health bars for them up in the top left. Smooth transitions between Over here. Beat up, beat up. There's another one. vehicle play and being on foot. Pretty revolutionary theory at the time for Halo. Now it's pretty standard and expected that you're able to hot swap between driving and on foot gameplay. So tough now, you Man, my gunner's doing pretty well. Took out a banshee. Well done. Louise, yep. Original, uh, original Halo on Xbox. Yeah, it's not the same as with it is, it is with the mouse and keyboard. I agree, but the advantage to this is that you can just hang out in your living room and do it on your couch, and it still works very well. Halo was really the first one to Survivors get the detected. FPS Marines experience on a console, rocks. right? Whoa. I'm on it. I'm just gonna leave these 
guys here. Out of harm's way, or in a good place where they can support. Ride supporting fire. Sure could use your help, sir. Here we go. Five right, of them. Well done, Marines. Well done. We're we're well heroes. Done. We've rescued five more Marines. All clear over here. Let's see if we Heads can get them out of here. Oh boy. Covenant dropship. You know those Covenant. They're always up to something. Bunch of religious fanatics. Those Covenant. It's actually true. <laughs> they are cast as a. Uh, fanatical uh, a group of aliens in the game. Group of alien species brought together by their fanatical religious beliefs that you learn more and more about as the Halo story goes on. We've met three of the different alien species that make up the Covenant so far. The Elites, these are the Jackals, and the uh, Grunts are the little comical little guys that run around. Yeah, the aim assist on console when done right, um, you kind it, it it's helpful. You're not able to be as precise as you are with the keyboard and mouse, so it is kind of necessary. Um, playing on playing first-person shooter with a controller would not be nearly as pleasant an experience without some aim assist, but they do it in a way where. You know, the games that get it right, it feels pretty natural and smooth. Halo, I feel like, does it really well. Call of Duty also does it very well. You just have a little bit of drag so that when you pass over an enemy, it's a little bit sticky. And that does the trick. Now, did all of our guys die, or were we able to save some? Or are they just hanging back while I clear out the covenant for them? It's fine. Dropship is a problem that I don't need right now. Alright. Checkpoint done. Oh. That's not good. Dropship coming in right on top of where I parked my uh, buddies in the Warthog. <laughs> that was a well placed grenade. You guys still okay? They're okay. Affirmative, Foe Hammer. We're ready for dust off. Approach when ready. We're going to look for the last lifeboat, Echo 419. Good luck. Let's see if uh, any of those guys survived. As uh, Foe Hammer comes down here. And I don't know. Oh, yep, yep. There they are. All five of them hopping in. Carry on, gents. We'll meet up later. All right. Time to go find where the uh, last lifeboat crash landed. Morning. I've picked up Look reports that, that the Covenant has located and secured the Pillar of Autumn's crash site. The good news is the Captain is still alive. Oh, that's not good. The bad news is that the Covenant have captured the entire surviving command crew. 
Let's hurry and find the final lifeboat so we can link up with the rest of the survivors. So the Covenant captured keys in the entire surviving Korean man crew of the Pillar of Autumn, so we're going to have to go rescue them after we finish saving it. this last group of Marines. This is not where they are. We've already been here. I'm a little bit lost here. The last lifeboat is near the head of the river. There it is. See, you get a little bit lost and then they uh, help you out. By giving you a marker to drive to. There we go. Here comes more! There it is! There are some Marines hiding in the hills above the structure. Let's go up to those hills. That last group of Marines. There they are. Hello, boys. A sight for sore eyes, Chief. We're in a bad way. We've got wounded here. I'll call in a drop ship to pick them up. Right. Looking good. We got a sniper. That's they? good. If you can get a sniper to join you in the Warthog, that is uh, an immense help in the campaign. Uh, marine snipers tend to be a pretty good shot, and that sniper rifle is very powerful, and in the hands of marine, it's good ammo. Uh-oh. Music. That means we're in for a fight. over here. I found Captain Keyes. He's being held on a Covenant cruiser, the Truth and Reconciliation, a ship I disabled before we abandoned the Autumn. The Truth and Reconciliation touched down on a desert plateau roughly 300 kilometers upspin. So we're going to the Truth and Reconciliation our ride. next to get try aboard to rescue and let's get Captain out of here. Keyes. Welcome aboard, Master Chief. Ready for dust off. That will be in the next video. And I think that's going to do it for tonight. Appreciate you guys coming in and checking out um, we move out, and then we'll my first uh, Halo stream here. If I wanted to test it out, I'm going to take a look back at the video and see where the audio needs to be adjusted, make sure that the balance with my game audio and the mic is right. Uh,